Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and welcome to Battleborn on the PC. I'm going to be playing through the story mode uh, through co-op with Fubar. However, uh, Fubar just told me that the prologue is single player only. So we're going to be going into the prologue, we're going to see what's up with the story. I don't know much about the Battleborn storyline in general, or much about the characters. I haven't really been paying attention to it, uh, because I was like, yeah, I'll play it when I play it, right? That's kind of how I feel about most games. So we'll see if this ends up being good, if it ends up being enjoyable. I know there's like this whole PvP thing, we're probably gonna be playing any of that, uh, but we will definitely play through the storyline. So one thing to note before we get started, I am sick. So if I sound off, or if I'm just like coughing a whole bunch, I apologize. Uh, I was hoping I wouldn't be <laughs> sick by the time I start playing this, but that's the human body for you. It sucks. Everyone should become a cyborg. Alright, let's start the prologue. Estimated server in 25 seconds. Really? I have to wait 20, 30 seconds Let's to get into this. To speed, there we go. Shall we? So, once upon a whole hell of a long time ago, the very first civilization in all the known universe carved an idea into a stone. <laughs> and this, of course, meant it was important. Their idea was about the end. According to the stone, a time would come when everything would disappear, including the very stars themselves. A vast darkness would devour the heavens, and after years of, let's call it the longest chain of very bad days ever, only one star would remain. All those capable would travel to this last star, fleeing the darkness and death throes of a dying universe. However, this gathering would not produce unity, but war. War among beings and civilizations, and war against great foes, the Varelsi and the betrayer Rendain. But the stone also speaks of hope. Champions who arise from the ashes of conflict, those who, well, those who want to keep the lights on. And this is where you show up. From among these heroes, you will recruit a force forged in conflict. You will direct and train them, and through you, there is hope for light. This force will be the Battle Ball. And for you, Commander, they will fight together or they will die alone. <laughs> if you believe stones, that is. Which brings us back to the star.
still blind to hear though Galaxies away, but our fate is real close Puzzling arrangement, gotta put the pieces back Double check everything, it could be a trap The natural order preserved So at last, or dominate the resources Feed off it, live 20,000 years And keep walking, then watch the rest Seem to be clipped Technology at their fingertips Or attempt to escape red tape Stick your nose in everybody's debate Join the force and everybody's afraid No need to be, you're welcome to join them Follow the rules and regulations employed then Okay, I mean that was a cool intro animation cinematic, but uh, Galt, you read me? Accomplished a whole lot, nothing. Welcome. welcome to Tempest, the heart of what's left of the Generate Imperium. Glad you could join us. Hey, I owed you one. That, and I'm never one to turn down a shot at crapping all over Rendane's plans. Where's the defector? Setting up the pyrotechnics for today's big event. We got one shot at this job, Mel. You ready? Nope. But to hell with it! Let's get it done! <laughs> Upload the mission data to Melka's rig, please. Already on it, Captain! Wait a minute, is that...? Oh, that's Cleese, isn't it? You brought Cleese on this mission! Ah, there you are! Just follow the waypoint I've uploaded. It should lead you straight into the gaping maw of death itself. <laughs> Thrilled to see you too, Melka. So... This will be interesting. I love when there's like really dramatic intros or cinematics or things like that which show all the heroes being like super bad axes like flipping on top of buildings and dodging bullets and shit. <laughs> Meanwhile in gameplay it's gonna be like, oh god, okay, all right, here we go, uh, whack. <laughs> oh, I'm just pressing all kinds of buttons. All right, let's get a move on. We have to play through the prologue. We have to learn the story, learn what we need to give a shit yeah. about. Because you can have all the kinds of badass cinematics you want, but if they don't really build up any kind of things for me to care about, it's kind of pointless. Hello, Crystal. You picked up shards! Use shards to activate gear and build things up door. door nodes. Well, I guess I can shoot this. It just looks evil. Given that today's mission is wildly dangerous, oh. I'd recommend sinking with an LLC emergency transport beacon. Or checkpoint in dummy parlance. There's one close by. We have dedicated checkpoint areas. Also, when I shoot and then reload, I fire out a little grenade thing. That is intriguing. So is this the checkpoint thing? No, it's not. All right, I should be sprinting. It gets me a log faster. There's not really that big of a difference between normal movement speed and the sprint speed. It's like killing for, oh, that that reload and then something shooting out is gonna bother the hell out of me. What the hell is this? Okay, well, well, maybe we got something else? No, did not help. Alright, so here we have the giant star, 
and then a couple of planets circling around it. You've got that guy who looks like he's pretty fucking evil, and he's the main villain of the game. But all this audio's corrupted, so we're not actually gonna be able to learn about him just yet. Alright. I don't give a shit about story anyways. Seat with your rig. The beacon instantly transports you away from battle if your vitals drop too low. The catch is, our contract with the LLC only guarantees a limited number of emergency transports before we're cut off. <laughs> Greedy bastards. That's one way to describe how come you're able to, uh... ...kinda survive every battle if you fuck up. But what if I don't fuck up? What if I never have my vitals drop too low? With that said, there might be, like, totally mandatory like ones. Idea this was. I, that was close. I almost fell off the edge in the first fucking jump back. hell's up with those M1 units? Defective units. Ugh, how sloppy. <laughs> Were I still in charge of the <sighs> robotics, I'd have someone's ass for this. Take them out just in case. Don't want any of those things phoning home and blowing the big surprise. I'm on it. What's, wait, 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 what big surprise? We just launched like a massive offense. Offensive. With a whole bunch of exploding ships crashing into the ground. We blew up a giant spider bot. Don't know what kind of fucking surprise is left over after that. Hey, big villain dude, we're coming to kill you. Really? I just couldn't fucking tell with all that noise outside. Didn't we see him in the cutscene as well? He was just like flying and looking menacing. I'm not sure. My mind was turned off for a good bit of that animation. I was like, this looks cool. Make him pay. All of them. Even the nice ones. I should roll with you guys more often. So, just who is the defector anyway? Oh, I didn't tell you. Get this. It's DeAndy, spy master of the Generate Imperium. Holy crap, seriously? Rendane's right hand? Pretty crazy, right? She's been leading the Generate Resistance ever since the Lord Commander's rise to power. And those intel drops we've been getting, those were her too. And you're sure we can trust her? I guess we're about to find out. Get moving. You're not far from the Heliophage. <coughs> oh God. I'm trying not to, uh, cut off any dialogue because, you know, we're in 2016 and the devs still sometimes have their own dialogue get cut off by player progress. So, these are explosive, right? Oh. Ooh, I like this gun. Where'd you get it, Captain? It's a modded UPR machine pistol. Cleese's handiwork, actually. Yes, it's designed to work in conjunction with your horrific disfigurement. It's an Eldred bio gauntlet, Cleese. Uh, you say tomato, I say horrific disfigurement. Go on, give it a try. <laughs> you mean the, the pistol thing that I've been using already? Yeah, don't worry, I've got doubt. Uh, she has other abilities, so we have a Q. Don't know what that does, but it kind of flung me forward. Then we have an E. Flings me into the air a little bit. Yeah, I have no idea what it's doing. Melka's nearly at the rendezvous point. Good, because I'm about to commit my second act of treason for the day. Oh, there's more shit behind me. Or above me. Uh-oh. I tried to use it like grenade launcher, it didn't work out. You picked up bonus credits! Spend credits in the marketplace between missions to buy new and wonderful things! But what if I don't know what characters I want to buy stuff for? I mean, there's tons of heroes. I haven't even seen the majority of them. You picked up a speed boost item. Oh. They're just gonna introduce like a whole bunch of random mechanics throughout this prologue. I'm like, oh, I can speed boost. Oh, I get extra health things from this. What the hell are these? Oh. Oh, well, okay. There are random drop things that you can grab stuff out of, and I'm assuming that... Obviously, we're gonna want to not be super stingy with those. Because we have teammates to worry about as well. This is it. Popcorn at the ready, everyone. Mm. Mm. This show's about to start. What is a heliophage? I'm not uh, sure if I've been briefed on this, but I'm assuming uh, the explosions up there have something to do with it. Suck it, Rain Day. Beautiful. That should buy us some time. 
Now we gotta get Deandy out of here. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Oh shit, that's a big ship. Oh, <coughs> oh god. One of our own has betrayed us. Bring me the spy mistress. Bring me Deandy. Damn. Hurry it up, Deandy. Almost there. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Headshots still count for something. Why didn't they put all these random traps around the place? Also, I've had like the word augment available this entire time. And now I've got another one! I'm level three, apparently! Oh shit. <laughs> I just like super punched it. With my claw! Oh. We're gonna want to avoid those things. Hold up, we gotta look at this. Hi there, friend. You're not gonna attack me. You're just a really fancy statue. I can appreciate that. I can really appreciate not getting attacked by giant, giant mechs just yet. All right, let's look at these augments. Okay, enemies hit by claw lunge are slowed for a brief time. Enemies hit by spike are slowed for a brief time. Spikes leave behind an area of effect that covers nearby enemies with venom. Increases the spike height. Uh, quick melee attack, increased damage, and propels her backwards. Can be used every three seconds. Huh. Reloading the custom machine pistol ejects a venom canister that fragments into smaller projectiles shortly after launch. These are interesting. We're gonna go for uh, these. I like this left tree. <laughs> that was really dramatic, lady. Hi. I'm Deandy, and uh, you are? Get her on her feet! We gotta move! I need a moment. We don't have a moment, Generate. Didn't you hear? Your boss is coming to kill us. These conduits need to be powered to extend the bridge. Then, two of us, shall we? Yeah, sure! Let me just, uh, level up again. <coughs> oh god, launches a blade at the end of the lunge, dealing additional damage. Ooh. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I just... I like this tree. Bridge is activated. Let's get you out of here, Generate. Deandy will do just fine, actually. And you no. Yes? Nope, you're mistaken. My name is... Pissed Off Eldred. Curiously dressed for an Eldred. Expecting some kind of space elf? An observer in the ceremonial duds? Well, gosh, I would have worn mine, but I lost them when the Generate swallowed my home star! No! <laughs> this is the part where America goes eat! <laughs> to what it's worth, I'm sorry. But I promise you, that wasn't the Generate. It was Renday. Keep walking, Generate! <laughs> I appreciate the old dude too. I like him. <laughs> That's such a weak job. Master, sir, and our Eldritch companion. Shall we bring him to the cathedral? What? No. Kill them, you idiot. Thanks, <laughs> sir. Please don't kill me, sir. I'll see it done. Please don't kill me. It's. I'm not going to. Is it? Look, just do it already. <laughs> Please don't kill me! I know the fuck up, but please don't do it! I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna kill you, what are you? Oh, Jesus. Someone's got a little bit of uh, a problem with his work employees. His reputation's a little bit high. Or I guess would be low. It's high on him looking bad and evil. Now that's the life of a villain. I like how playing with Deonde gives, like, a slight experience of playing with a co-op partner. Just, you know, another person around the place shooting shit with ya. So, are you gonna follow us right now? Okay, alright. I'm too lazy to hit the space bar. 
Instead, I'll hit E, which is actually about the same amount of effort. Explodey? Explosions. Wait, what did I do? Oh, I'm depositing shards for this. There's the LZ, and that's a lot of generate. Galt, where are you guys? Getting shot at. We're coming as quick as we can. Clear the path for us. Imperium forces, cut them down. <sighs> I must say, I'm disappointed. No, no, I'm pissed. We're upgrading to pissed. Do you have any idea what you have done? What you have cost us? I know precisely what I've done, Lord Commander. By the way, I know it. Listen, it's clear you disapprove of our alliance with the Relsa. But there is no other way to survive what's coming. No other way to preserve anything of this universe or ourselves. Or our Empress Lenore. Never speak her name again. Dead? No, no, it's... No, forget it. Let's skip straight to the consequences of your folly, shall we? We'll rebuild the healing phase, drag Solus into the void, and secure a future for our people. Meanwhile, you will die. You will die cold. You will die alone. You will die in the dark. Jeez. Come on, let's go. So, doesn't that sound like a familiar argument? We have to do this in order to survive what's coming! Ah! Also, it wouldn't let me pick up that speed boost, and that makes me sad. That's fine, whatever. There, that should handle the field. Let's press on, pissed off Eldred. <laughs> Everyone's so snarky. Oh, hey, look at that. Two pads, one for Deonde, one for me. I actually would like to see what happens if you let Deonde die. <laughs> do you have to do that? You can't just walk. Yeah, <laughs> I get it, Huntsman, because spider. <laughs> oh, that thing's actually pretty small. I mean, it's bigger than me. But the cutscene made it look a lot larger. What are you- what are you doing? You're just- you're flipping around, you're not even attacking us. Aw oh man, this thing is such a big scary threat! Yeah, fuck you and your immunity shit. Maybe it's actually about to fight us. Or it's gonna send tons of minions after us! Am I supposed to have a shield thing? I'm looking at the bottom left and I'm noticing there's a top half of it that's completely empty. Hold on! I fought the Lucy for a very, very long time. Yes, we had our victories here and there, but you need only look upon the night sky to see the good it did us. A mere prolonging of an eventuality. And that's how you justify turning on your allies? Your friends? Well, yes, basically. I'm saving something. Other than nothing, wouldn't you do the same in my I don't know. I mean, maybe if you gave people a little bit more information about how you're going about to save the world and everything else, people would listen to you a little bit more. Rather than just going, yeah, I'm just trying to save something, you know, by fucking up everything else. Wanna try that again? Oh, it's exploding! You know how much I Especially my best agent. To that end, I'm giving you one last chance to prove your loyalty. You can the Imperium against the factions. Our allies against the Varelsi. We fought and died with them for centuries. <sighs> well, can't say I didn't try, I suppose. All forces converge on the defector. Do not let her escape! Oh god, why is the Huntsman invincible for so long? 
Stop that! Alright, here's an idea. What if we get the Huntsman to attack us while the elite bot is regenerating? Or maybe I have to knock this thing down again. Let's see. Nope, doesn't care about that. Yes, yes! It didn't work. Fuck! I tried to be clever! Okay, it ran out of immunity for a bit. It's almost dead! That's one way to take out a giant robot. Hit it with a guillotine. Oh. Credits here! I want all of them. I don't know if they just disappeared on me or not. Oh shit, she just like ditched my ass. Now I have to stay here! Every little bit of XP is gonna help! Well, I don't know if I'll be staying as this character. Clear my schedule. I wanna do that again. Hey, more animation! shot at Rinde, and we only get that shot when he makes his play at the star. And until then, what's our plan? I mean, if we have a plan. We're gonna bust up the Imperium's operations around Solus, buy ourselves as much time as we can, and rally support from the factions. Fortunately for us, they need all the help they can get. Blowing stuff up's working out good so far. I was thinking we'd do more of that. While Rindane's repairing the Heliophage, we'll help the other factions get back on their feet. We'll need them all behind us if we're gonna pull this off. The UPR has been taking heavy losses trying to reclaim their old settlements on Bliss. Admiral Bannon put out a call for assistance. We could start there. Word from the observatory is that Echinar's crawling with generate harvest crews. We could disrupt their energy supply lines if we hit them hard. Tempest is more vulnerable than even Rindane realizes. It'll be dangerous, but they probably won't see us coming. So, we're not airlocking anybody? Shut up, Cleese. This is our last chance to save Solus. We must not fail. We won't. Uh, we might. Oh my god, shut up, Cleese! <laughs> Cleese, you're ruining the vibe! Oh god! Okay, new character unlocked. Am I going to unlock characters slowly, or am I going to get every single one? Oscar Mike. Activate a cloaking device 
Frag grenade airstrike. I like the look of Oscar Wright because I'm an edge lord. <laughs> oh god, we got all these characters. So many choices! I'm gonna have to like go through and read the, them all so I can figure out who I want to play through as the, through the campaign. Look at my shitty score. It's bronze. <laughs> oh, you got through the prologue. What'd you get as your uh, your medal? I got a I got bronze. Oh, huh. You got the lowest rank. That's better than nothing at all. <laughs> what a scrub. Yeah, I didn't do like half these challenges. That's fine. I again, I assume they want you to like replay through these. I'm a little bit disappointed that the cutscenes don't actually have animated, uh... Or like, one of the, the in-between cutscene there just went with the animated webcomic thing, where it just, like, jumps animations rather than actually having smooth talking or anything else. I would have rather you just had the 3D models talking. Surely that would have saved more time at that point, right? Ah, uh, well. It's time for us to play through the campaign. Perhaps you had some companions in mind for your first mission. Or maybe you're more of the lone wolf type. Either way, you can specify mission parameters and squad mates here, or opt to handle a mission on your own. We're gonna be playing through the campaign, but we do have to get my friend. We're not playing through this lone wolf like I thought I was a while ago. No, we're doing it in co-op style, just not full four people co-op style. 